Hello there Leo and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you guys get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date or time. Keep in mind Leo that this is a general reading so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all. Check your moon, your rising or your venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless. Okay Leo there's something um, with this ma a masculine energy for some of you guys or maybe something here with a father or father figure um, and having complete healing in that your personal power will increase as you give any father related issues to heaven so some of you guys there's some type of clarity or there may be some new information or something comes to light when it comes to healing um, any type of father issues or a ma um, or, or a strong masculine energy issue okay let's see what else comes out for you uh, Leo I am getting um, emperor energy coming through so some of you Leos may have um, Aries in your chart yeah look at this there's something that's um, you know we got this temperance card so there's something of a promise of a new day and there's something about balance and divine blessings really trusting in miracles at this time this may be time to use moderation in all things a lot of you guys need to know that there's something that is really coming together when it comes to experiencing your reality differently okay um, and also there may be something here with a lot of you Leos with um, your ability to transmute energies to really transmute transcend and heal energies and come to a place of um, of a, a state of balance so whatever you're doing right now seek balance this is there's something that is um, it's like these the two paths here are leading to one here okay let's see what else comes out for you a uh, Sagittarius energy is coming through let's see what else comes out Leo <clears throat> When you focus on your inner light, you'll see the world through the, <laughs> the lens of love. Remember, there is something here about you guys, I was saying, um, experiencing or seeing the world differently or something like that. So yeah, there's going to be a whole new uh, sense of reality for you. Um, a lot of you guys are really coming into a, a feeling of peace with oneself in a situation here, okay? And for a lot of you guys, <clears throat> Leo there's something about <clears throat> a merging of a new reality for you <clears throat> okay what else for leo and i do feel that there may be something here too for some of you leos with <clears throat> having a compromise or a win-win situation here um, drop into the deep end of your soul Ooh, let's get a little bit more with this because I feel that this is really something that has to go with your personal power um, <clears throat> healing here I want a little bit more with uh, this drop into the deep end of your soul with falling it's almost like remembering who you are too <clears throat> yeah this is something about you guys remembering how beautiful and spiritual you really are um, surround yourself with positive people and situations and do whatever you can to avoid negativity at this time see there's something coming into your reality or, or emerging of a new reality here so it is important to stay positive to stay neutral um, do things in moderation as well um, and with this dive deep dive in dive excuse me drop into the deep end of your soul you know this is about you guys coming back again to a place of really knowing who you are um, i feel for some of you leos you may resonate with virgo's uh, reading in this series because i feel a lot of you guys just need to hear um, virgo had this message about to remember that you are uh, you are a spirit your spirit having a human human experience okay but also you guys are coming into situations that's going to give you guys uh, more a more sense of balance and tranquility okay 
So take action in your life right now just by being positive, uh, surround yourself with positive, uh, positive people and just avoid negativity at this time. <clears throat> what else for Leo? It's time to disconnect from the world and retreat. Very interesting because we have this thing about really um, <laughs> dropping into the end, the deep end of your soul here. So maybe some of you guys, you might want to connect with just, you know, a few people or just yourself. Take a retreat. Maybe we need to disconnect from certain uh, people or influences, something just to really for you guys to kind of recenter yourself and there's something about you guys getting the answers that you need as well seeking these answers and and receiving these answers what else yeah i get hermit energy here so i do uh, see virgo's energy coming into play here <clears throat> what else for leo cycles oh leo i do feel that there's some things going on when it comes to being and feeling sad or you know maybe discouraged whatever it is everything has its right time right and you know just like everything everything is cyclical honor the cycles of your body so let's go back to temperance energy yeah honor the cycles of your body listen to your um energy levels and you know do things that give you guys more energy not doing things that deplete your energy and tune into the moon's magic really interesting we've got this moon right over here too so um and i kept noticing here on the temperance card it's uh, the path is the moon and the sun here so there's definitely something about um intuition um getting ready to receive something um having confidence in nurturing and honoring your emotions as well and your transformation And for some, you know, just, what's this say? Oh, tune into the moon's ma uh, magic, but also honor the cycles of your body, right? It's time to disconnect from the world. Some of you guys are feeling drained or something like that, okay? What else? Yeah, you guys are going to have a sense of feeling <clears throat> of a of a new day, a, a promise of a new day, a new dawn, or whatever. Email, be, oh, be mindful of the messages you send. Oh, and we have this thing about disconnect from the world here. <clears throat> also, you know, for some of you guys, there's something about how you're communicating, how you're talking, what your message is. So there's something about being mindful. Um, and really seeing through the, the lens of love, maybe even if you're feeling discouraged <clears throat> or challenged. Um, there could be something here with being mindful about the messages you're sending to yourself as well, okay? There may be something here about email though too, right? Paying attention to what we're, what we're putting out there and saying. What else? <clears throat> Wow, there's something about the lens of your eyes and we've got the eye here. When I lean into certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. It's exactly what we were talking about at the beginning of this. There's something about you guys having some way of some new reality, a new way of seeing things. <clears throat> okay, so something is waking up when it comes to... Um, your vision and your abilities to kind of tap in and tune into a higher um, sense of your uh, sense senses. So a lot of you guys right now, something is going to, you know, don't get discouraged if you're feeling discouraged, Leo. It really is. You really need to um, lean on your faith, okay? 
um, because something is transpiring and transcending a lot of something is happening within you here and it's going to be a whole change in your reality a lot of you guys are going to wake up and realize you've put yourself <clears throat> in a situation where now you are surrounded with more positive mindset positive situations and people it's not going to be a lot of work to do so you're already in it but in the time right now it might be some work to having to concentrate on what we're doing and saying okay okay let's see what else <clears throat> Oh my goodness, we're just kind of talking about this with this, well, the email thing. Pluck the weeds and plant the seeds of your most magnificent expression. See, you guys get a chance here. Right? Remember, there's a thing about being mindful of the messages you send, but also as getting, you know, be mindful of what's going on in the messages you're sending to yourself. So whatever is going on right now, you guys have the ability and the right to pluck the weeds and plant the seeds of your most magnificent expression. <clears throat> you can reinvent yourself. You can recreate whatever it is. What else? And some of you guys are just might be certain situations and things or ideas or people, whatever it is. What are the weeds in your life? Because we want flowers to grow. We don't want weeds to take over. Because once they take over, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's so much It's so much work to get rid of it, right? So let's not get to that point where it's too much work to get rid of it. That's why we just tend to it. Yeah, you guys are getting ready to receive something here. Allow yourself to receive. Yeah, and there was that thing about, <clears throat> and I was talking about that with honoring that feminine energy here. So this will... Yeah, a lot of you guys, again, something about your intuition, um, your abilities to access um, visions and um, really you guys are going to have an increase in your intuition, energy, and really the ability to give to others. So I'm really getting Queen of Cups energy coming through here, Leo, too. So yeah, a lot of you guys are getting ready to um, get something back so that you guys feel replenished so that you can give. What else? <clears throat> Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. Wow. See, there's something about you guys seeing something new about how you see the world, but also how you're seeing yourself. Some of you guys, it goes back to this father healing situation, right? Maybe we didn't feel so worthy or valuable. Maybe we did have <clears throat> situations that, you know, were very challenging with a masculine energy or whatever. Yeah, you guys are getting ready to receive something. I'm getting star card here. So keep, keep, it's like, um, look higher, set your sets higher. You know, reach for the stars, reach for something high here. Spirit does not want you guys to settle. What else? Yeah, don't settle for what looks like flowers because it could end up being weeds, okay? And sometimes it's, you know, what's easiest is not always what's best either. So have patience. Temperance is all about having patience. Yeah, I was really picking up a, a card of sadness. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this unicorn here over here, the cycles. Mm -hmm. Just remember, everything has its right time. You guys really do. Um, there's still, there's some type of hidden blessing in some type of sad situation that you guys might still be feeling grief about. But there is some type of like new thing that's happening here. Look at the new sunset coming here. Okay. And if there's two cups behind you. So it's almost like, you know what I'm getting is even though it's sad, it's almost like there was not a, how do I want to say this? 
it's almost like th these were in the way anyways a situation or whatever it was in the way this is what counts is this one right here these two right here so um, <clears throat> allow yourself to receive I'm gonna get uh, I want a little bit more too with this five of cups for you I know in this five of cups it will take some effort to kind of put you know to try to get yourself to surround yourself with positive people and situations because it is easy to stay in this energy of sad and sadness and grief and mourning or even regret or remorse whatever give me a little bit more with the five of cups for Leo yeah it's gonna be safe for you guys to love again because I kept getting this look at the two of cups the two of cups is in the five of cups here there's love there's something here for your spirit says it's gonna be safe for you to love but you got to be willing to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all look at this allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give others you're getting ready to receive love so this is this is coming to past uh, past here this sadness and look at this remember set your sets higher don't keep looking at what has gone wrong don't look at what's gone wrong anymore what else And some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that had a lot of father issues as well. And this is something that's coming to light here. Maybe some of you guys, yeah, you guys kind of feel like you're a fallen angel or that you fell, you know, you're fallen here. No, you haven't. Now we got the seven of cups. Hmm. I want a little bit more with the seven of cups here <clears throat> this is about dreams and visions but it could also be um, delusions and you know because we're not focused on the right things give me a little bit more with the seven of cups for um, Leo because there is this message about plucking the weeds and planting the seeds so it might this might be a time to utilize imagination and disconnect from the world um, so that you guys can do your own thing envision and dream of your own thing and not be influenced by what others want or think that you should have <clears throat> oh speaking of yeah look at this break free listen try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn so it's like keep your options open and try things okay be spontaneous break free from maybe old ideas or habits right break free from the sadness maybe it's like breaking free from being in the mind and in so much confusion or sadness it's like breaking free from that and actually taking action and just doing things that really helps you grow and learn so take time to retreat and recharge so that you guys can get ready to really um, move something for yourself. What else for Leo? Pay attention to the red flags. Oh, something else. Oh my goodness. Okay, forgiving and learning here. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So Spirit is showing you signs here. Look, whenever you guys kind of, I mean, even ask your angels to show you guys the signs here. There are signs that are cautioning, cautioning you guys about something here, okay? Pluck the weeds and plant the seeds of your most magnificent expression. And we have this thing here too. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So there's something about forgiving and learning. Maybe there's something that we're having a hard time forgiving and learning here. Okay. Maybe there's something about feeling not supported here. But there's something that spirit is showing you that's coming to light or somehow it's coming to you about paying attention to what you guys need to stay uh, cautionate about. Stay cautious about. 
What else? When you're in alignment with love, the universe, <laughs> peace, oh, listen to this. When you're in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. So this may take some effort to really get into something here because we, we might, you might be going into a place of maybe, you know, if we're feeling hurt or sad, we could be having a hard time really forgiving and, and releasing something here. But again, it takes time. So honor those cycles. Something is cycling out for you. Okay. Um, and you're meant to really experience peace and tranquility at this time. And this is what this, uh, the, the temperance energy is. There's really a divine angel helping you guys bring pre peace and harmony into your life. Some of you guys really have to believe in these miracles, though. What else? Yeah, have faith. Again, some of you guys have to believe in these miracles. Your prayers are manifesting. Just remain positive. Remember, this is the first, one of the cards that came out in the beginning here. Positive energy. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Okay? Follow your guidance. What else for Leo? <laughs> yeah. You guys are going to get ready to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Remember, there's something that you guys, um, about being, it's something safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive here. So there's going to be an opportunity here for you guys to get to know someone or just extending some lighthearted energy, getting a little flirtatious, having a little fun. Okay, be willing to do this. What else? I see some of you guys, someone flirting with you. Party, celebrate yourself. Yeah, there's going to be some type of um, get together or some type of, for some of you guys, you may just party for yourself because you might be so excited about what you guys have really um, come to understand and now what you are seeing. But I do get like um, you guys with this, I'm getting like nine of cups energy too and three of cups energy here. So you guys are getting some type of wish fulfillment, but also um, take time to celebrate yourself. Maybe this is why you need to retreat here, right? Don't pay attention to, um, you know, don't pay attention to what what's hard to get over Maybe just come back to just, you know, getting back to celebrating yourself because a lot of you guys have really come very far here, okay? I get like three of cups energy, so I do feel a lot of you guys are coming into situations that you're going to get um, a little bit more joy and playful and have fun. What else? <laughs> Be present. Yeah, a gift is coming. So be present. This is this um, temperance energy here. Something is um, manifesting, coming to fruition. Just be present so you guys can receive the gift here. There is a gift coming. What else? Because remember, allow yourself to receive. So being pr in the present moment as much as you can is going to help you guys receive. Oh my goodness, Scorpio energy. Um, death card is here. Yeah, wow. You guys really are reinventing and, and coming into some type of new self as well. Look at the Phoenix rising here. This is kind of what I was getting is you guys are having some type of new reality showing up here. Trust in this. Trust whatever is ended as well. I want a little bit more with this uh, death card for Leo. Yeah, just allow whatever needs to change or and just trust that it's actually helping you guys um, transform your own self, your own reality. And this is a, a, a real sense of 
you guys really rising up and really something grand is coming from some type of ending and this is a reminder too yeah that some of you guys have been indoors so long too long go outside and get some fresh air some of you guys need to change up your scenery here okay maybe yeah you've been indoors on the computer too much something about disconnecting maybe disconnecting from uh, technology whatever what else for leo Knight of Pentacles, nice. So you guys, there's some type of trustworthy path that you guys are really um, on right now. And I do feel that you guys, it's very interesting. There may be something with being outside and outdoors with meeting someone who could be definitely outdoors with the Knight of Pentacles. They're really gonna be in tuned with um, nature and nature spirits. Um, they may be very physically active and um, you know, got a really good physique, maybe athletic physique for some. Um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn showing up. This is a, a sense of a shaman here too. I feel a lot of you guys are having, um, you guys have been initiated or some type of sense of coming into your own spiritual purpose and also the way that you guys are guiding yourself on the path. Trust, there's some type of trustworthy energy here um, with this Knight of Pentacles for you, uh, Leo. So, um, and also you guys need to trust that you guys are on a steady path, okay? I want to get a little bit more about this Knight of Pentacles um, for Leo. Because I feel like you're going to meet someone outdoors or something about being outdoors, outdoors parties, so, social thing, right? But make sure you guys are doing the retreating and meditating too, whatever you guys need to do if you're needing to reset here. Yeah. Okay. You're okay. There is something here about you guys really connecting with earth and uh, nature spirits and, and really creating something solid for yourself. A lot of you guys really are on a steady path here. Um, you're called upon to help with environmentalism for some of you guys, but we do have this mother earth energy here, but this is really telling me you guys are really tapped in and tuned into earth energies here big time leo um and also you guys there's something about these there's something about you guys manifesting um as well it may seem a little bit slow but you guys surely are manifesting something here and some of you guys there's a path about you guys um doing something with the environment nature spirits animals um humanity i mean this mother earth Yep. And I also feel that you guys are getting ready to meet someone here that's very trustworthy and reliable. And it could be a start of a um, this um, flirting situation and safe for you to love because this is an energy that is safe to love here. Trustworthy, reliable. What else for Leo? Wow, addictions are affecting your romantic life. We have this codependency. So there's something that we need to release. There may be something with it being addicted to work. Some of there may be something I was picking up, you know, remember this is about moderation as well. Um, we could be addicted to people or things. So you're gonna have to figure this out. But I do see you guys actually releasing um, and breaking free from uh, any type of codependency issues. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune, this is like, I, I feel like I see the Wheel of Fortune here as well, okay? So there's something about just acting on things that are could be draining us or taking away from us, okay? Uh, what else for Leo? There may be something with being addicted to media, social media, uh, you know, all of that stuff. It's, you know, there's so much, right? So much. Um, yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, there's something about examining your beliefs about being tested. Because <laughs> there may be something that we're, we're feeling like triggered by or have been triggered by or we're being challenged by. Look at this. We've got this eye here and here's another eye. So there's something about really getting true seeing and clarity and a breakthrough, especially when it comes to 
um, being challenged by things. So a lot of you guys are going to see something. There's just going to be some kind of sense of it's like you're going to you're going to know um, what beliefs or what it is about oneself um, that triggers us into being tested. There could be something here with school for some of you guys, but yeah, examine your beliefs about being tested. What else? Oh, look at this. This one just fell right over here. Rebirth. Reinvent yourself. Um, I was already picking that up because, I mean, look at this. There's a blank face here. So, um, and, you know, the rebirth, this is the phoenix. So that's a, it's huh, a big thing of you guys um, having a sense of re- um, a rebirth, a re being able to reinvent yourself, creating a new self, creating a new reality. I'm telling you guys, as you, you guys are creating some type of new reality. Oh my God. And I didn't even see it says create a new reality. I was looking at, okay. Anyways, yes, you guys are creating a new reality. So don't worry about what's ended. It's all, it's all happening anyways, in order. I mean, just think of what ended was like maybe the weeds that had to be taken out of your garden of dreams. Okay, what else? All right, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping Leo? And Leo, I had cards actually fall on the ground. Um, I'll pick them up in a second here. How is spirit helping Leo? Wow. <clears throat> okay, there is something about a past life situation or a past life relationship. Um, a lot of you guys are going to come into like a, a real sense of a soulmate, a soul connection. You're just going to feel that you've known each other before um, and you're going to get very playful because remember there's something about you guys. So this is very interesting because spirit is saying it's safe for you to love. You've known each other before. It's some type of past life relationship. You're going to recapture romance um, by allowing your inner youthful spirit fun to shine. So think of yourself as being reborn here and being like childlike and just getting to um, have a second chance. So spirit's helping you guys with some type of connection that goes um, beyond this lifetime. This is why you're going to feel safe to love. Um, I'm going to look at these cards that fell. Oh my gosh. And then this one. Here's a two of uh, two of swords. Yeah. There's something right now I feel um, that we're feeling a block in, but you guys are going to overcome a sense of impasse at this time. There's a reason why something is um, at a hold up here. Wow. Yeah, I feel like maybe you guys would even resonate with, um, was it Aquarius is reading in the series as well? Uh, but okay, let's look at this. Yeah, see, Will of Fortune. What did I tell you? I saw the Will of Fortune earlier, right here. So there's something here with when, you, oh, there is something that's going to happen here as soon as action is taken on anything that could be holding us here or just having some type of big breakthrough. Yeah, you, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. I see you guys really, there's something that's going to change for you guys. Whatever impasse, whatever block, whatever is going on where we're feeling tied up or restricted, it's, it's going to come to pass here. Um, you've got big changes happening here. This is why um, have faith and remain positive. I was already picking up the wheel of fortune and it fell on, fell on the ground. Um, yeah, you guys are getting ready for a whole new beginning here. A whole new um, love affair for a lot of you guys. Could be a water sign, an air sign. You guys got love coming. You've got an opportunity of really, because um, I was seeing the two of cups here. A lot of you guys are on a, a path of real true fulfillment when it comes to your destiny and what you guys are feeling very purposeful about too. So you're really heading into the right direction. And I feel a lot of you guys are going to get ready to get moving here and um, really have a change or some type of experience of adventure and fun, um, getting flirtatious, doing things, maybe taking trips. Um, there's something about being outdoors too, Leo, big time. I'm seeing something about being outdoors. 
okay um and you guys are you guys are gonna have an opportunity of love you got new love coming leo and i want to just say that this is um this is true seeing true seeing okay i hope that was helpful leo love and light take care